Welcome to BricsCAD for AutoCAD users. My name is Ralph Grabowski and it is my pleasure to show you BricsCAD 14. Drawing Explorer in BricsCAD is pretty powerful, but its interface hides a few things. And so I've collected half a dozen tips and a trick to show you how to use its power to a greater extent. By my count, the unified interface of BricsCAD's Drawing Explorer replaces the equivalent of 23 AutoCAD commands, dialog boxes, and palettes. The official command for opening Drawing Explorer in BricsCAD is Explorer. But you don't have to type in Explorer to access it. You can still use the commands that you're familiar from in AutoCAD, such as Layer. Opens it up to the Layer section. Or Line Type opens it up to the line type section or dim style opens it up to the dim style section so you can either use the toolbar the menu the official explorer command or any any of the commands you're familiar with from autocad inside drawing explorer it's the blue dot that tells you what's current here, Hatch is the current layer. Click on Dimension and it becomes the current layer right away. The same thing happens for line types, textiles, and so on. When there's just one style, then it is current automatically, of course. As you make changes in Drawing Explorer, sometimes you want the changes to be reflected in your drawing right away. Other times, you might not. Fortunately, BricsCAD gives you a choice with the Regen button, which is right here on the toolbar. When this button is off, any changes you make are not reflected in the drawing. So I'll freeze the dimension layer, and you can see the dimensions are still visible. But if I click the Regen button, they disappear. Bring back the dimensions drawing, regen. Now, it can be a pain to go back and forth like that, but that does gives you one by one control. If you want the changes to be updated right away, click this other button and leave it on. So each time you freeze a layer, the changes are shown immediately in the drawing. One of my favorite features in Drawing Explorer is the ability of the Layers node to display the contents of layers in real time. Here, have a look at what I'm talking about. As you click each layer name, you see what's on that layer. Now, sometimes a layer may look like it's blank, and that's because BricsCAD is showing it at the same visibility as in the drawing. So if you see nothing, it could be the layers frozen or the drawing is zoomed in. Seeing previews of layers is not something you get in the Layers dialog box of AutoCAD, and so I think that's pretty nifty that we have it in BricsCAD. Now, Drawing Explorer has copy and paste buttons up here on the toolbar to be able to copy and paste properties between drawings. But it's much easier to simply drag them. Here's how. First of all, I'm going to open up the node for the other drawing to which I'm copying. Then I'm going to grab this dimension layer and drag it into the layers node. And there you see it there. Note that only the properties are copied, not any of the content of the layer. To get rid of it, just click on the delete button and it's gone. In this final tip, I want to show you bonus options available when you right-click items in the Drawing Explorer. Let's start with layers. When you right-click a layer name, you can see the Merge To option. This lets you merge layers, as you can see in this list here. In Layer States, you have a number of options. Restore, Overwrite, All On, All Off, as well as Import and Export. Layers or states are import and export through using LAS files. Those are the same as in AutoCAD, so you can swap layer states with AutoCAD and BricsCAD. Let's move on to uh, underlays. For example, PDF underlays. They have a single option, insert, and it brings up the usual attach underlay dialog box. 
when it comes to blocks, you have a large number of options here. There is uh, the insert command, which runs the insert at the uh, command prompt. You have the uh, insert external, which brings up the dialog box. And so to insert an external block, you would click the browse button and find that. Another option is to save the block, which saves it out to file, add it to the current tool palette, and then there's this options, which I'm going to talk about in the bonus trick at the end of this video. Finally, I'm going to show you the options available for external references. When you right-click one, you get all the same options you do with AutoCAD. Attach, detach, reload, unload, bind, which is like the xbind command, insert it as a block, and open, which is like the xopen command in AutoCAD, where you can edit the xref directly. And now the bonus trick, how to align blocks with angled walls, such as this one here. Go into Drawing Explorer, right-click a block, go to Options, and turn on the Align option right there. I'm going to click OK, right-click again, select Insert, and as I bring this bathtub near the wall, notice two things. First of all, the bathtub aligns itself with the, with the wall, but up here notice that the nearest object snap has been turned on automatically. So now I can click here and then it'll ask me which side I want to be on. Click again and it's done. Isn't that great? And so there you have it. Six tips on how to use Drawing Explorer plus a bonus trick. I hope you've enjoyed it and see you again in the next video. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.